Hello, I'm Stefan. I'm a bicycle enthusiast and today I would like to compare my three bicycles and give you my opinion about these bicycles. It's not a comparison per se because they are so different and they all have their advantages. So I like them all and um, to, I would like to mention I have no, uh, I get no support from all these companies. I have no business relationship and I'm not sponsored in any uh, circumstances. So, but, and um, as you see, I have a Velomobile from uh, Velomobile uh, Quest Carbon, and um, I have a recumbent bike M5 Carbon uh, High Rider. High Rider. It's a very nice bicycle, and I have a normal racing bike from uh, Canyon the aluminium frame endurance and uh, a an, uh, complete uh, Shimano 105 group uh, rim brakes uh, so it's a very very basic bicycle and this is what I like it's it's uh, as you see there's uh, everything uh, this is uh, exchangeable I have another forboard on the English name here yeah. I change it so it uh, can make it stiffer and uh, it's a um, nice bicycle it's very light it's only eight kilograms and uh, good tires uh, and wonderful for all the to climb mountains I have uh, some, my um, <coughs> I have 53 uh, 36 translation in the front the derailleur I think I have 11 34 so I can go all the mountains which I like and that's very nice now I change here to my um, recumbent bike. Um, when I, I changed to recumbent bike uh, 19, uh, 2004, because um, I can do my wet my watt output is uh, 250, which can I uh, ride for a long time. But with the racing bike and, and the flat terrain, I only can go 30 kilometers per hour. So I'm very slow. And that was. Uh, I had looked for a solution. Then I found this nice bicycle. It's also it's it's uh, uh, from Munz from from the Netherlands. He's a an, an very good engineer. It's a very light bicycle for a recumbent bike. It's only 10 kilograms. It's full carbon. Even if I have a very simple racing equipment, 105 group, nine gears only. <laughs> so it's uh, really a little bit old-fashioned. But it's uh, nice. And when the uh, same power I used to go with a with my bicycle here, with this uh, racing bike, uh, I can go about. Um, which I go with the racing bike, I go 30 km power. I can go with my recumbent bike, maybe 36, 38 kilometers per hour. So it's quite faster and it's much more relaxed. It's also a big advantage. You see the seat. It's a very relaxing uh, position, and uh, it looks a little bit complicated, but after a while you get used to it. So um, last year, I went by uh, Velomobil.nl in Dronten, <laughs> and some I'm looking around for a Velomobil for a long time. Then I found this bicycle, it's used one, and uh, I directly fall in love, and. Uh, because I, now I moved to Denmark. Denmark is a paradise for Velomobile riding. It's a wonderful bicycle. That looks, uh, looks inside here. You have the steering, electric um, lights, and uh, the chain goes in the body, so you never have a dirty chain. And it's really so uh, aerodynamic. I like it so much. I can go with this bicycle uh, with the same uh, power which I need to go with this uh, racing bike. 30 km, I can go approximately 45 to 50 km power. And that is the speed which I ride here in Denmark. It's wonderful. So let's combine it, my short uh, impression. Racing bike is wonderful for the mountains. If you have steep mountains, and, and then it's, it's very nice. And another advantage, 
you can easily transport it. It's also very basic. You can put it in a car. With a recumbent bike, it's not so easy, it's, but you can also have a transport. With a Velomobile, it's almost impossible. You have to go by bicycle, <laughs> that's all. Velomobile is very good for uh, commuting. If you have an average, uh, you have a distance to 40 km, it's perfect to commute with this Velomobile. You can go 40 km in one hour, easy, even if not a very sportive person. Yes. That's my impression. I hope you liked this video and uh, goodbye.